The Nova Fortnight, the Nova Employment Online Radio Show. This is Simon Smith. Nice to have you along. Let's have a look at some of the current happenings and some of the news from Nova Employment this month. Martin Wren, the CEO of Nova, tells us this month has been a bumper for Nova with dozens of people starting work. April and May were pretty good and March was the best month for placements in the history of the program. If things keep on in a similar fashion sometime in August, we will have placed as many people in the first eight months of this year as we did in the whole of 2008. In the meantime, we will continue to promote the ability of the 1,300 or so people with disability that are presently registered with us. We'll keep on telling local employers the value of this resource and we'll keep up our promotion and our achievement. Well, why are things going so well? One of the really good things about working in a not-for-profit organisation is that we're able to devote a larger part of our budget to promotion and also to the training of our staff. So we have a highly skilled team supported by an extensive advertising program. And we're fortunate in that every area where Nova operates, we have been able to identify savvy businessmen and women who can spot a good deal. You see, employing a person with a disability isn't an act of charity, it makes sound business sense. That comes from Martin Wren, the CEO of Nova Employment. That's why Nova Employment prospers. Hello, my name is Martin Wren and you're listening to the Nova Employment online radio show. You're listening to the Nova Employment Fortnight online radio show. G'day, this is Simon Smith. Let's have a look at some more Nova news from this month and the Federal Member for Macquarie recently met with Holly Brown who has embarked on a hospitality traineeship at the Family Hotel at Katoombra. Mr Devers said Holly is a terrific example of why employing a person with a disability makes good sense. It provides meaningful work for the individual and keen reliable staff for employers. Organisations like Nova Employment can help employers make this choice and contribute towards a more socially inclusive society. Right now, one of our many Nova Employment profiles will be doing over the next few months. This week, Cafe 64, which we all know about out at Walgett. Let's have a listen to Don Lilliman, the branch manager of Cafe 64, telling us about some of the history of Cafe 64 and some of the great things they do at Cafe 64 at Walgett. Well, uh, yeah, Cafe 64 as it is now, um, it's about uh, five or six years old. And before that, uh, there was a a small cafe, much smaller cafe, um, just uh, called Seashells, just down the road a bit. And, uh, it, you know, it had a, uh, hired a couple of disabled people and it had half a dozen tables, I suppose. Yep. And it didn't cater for a, a, for a great uh, cross-section of the community. But um, since moving to up to uh, a much larger area, and, uh, you know, now we've got probably 18 or 20 tables, a much a bigger area and uh, a better position for everyone and um, you know we, we hire probably 18 or 20 staff now at different times a lot of birds with one stone because we not only do we prov- the basic services to hire uh, and uh, hire disabled people yep. people that are on the DSP and uh, and give them meaningful work town where people can come in and relax and sit and have a coffee and a, and a good meal and, you know, meet with friends. Uh, so we have visitors that pass through our town. They often drop in there. Mm. And we have a lot, of, uh, a lot of regional people that come up for meetings and uh, government people and, uh, you know, from school teachers in there. And then we've got the mm. country folk. They pop in there. And, mm. and then the locals, you know, we've a big um, Indigenous population here and they all use our cafe as well. So, you know, we, we cater for a good cross-section of the community. They do, yes. We've got our regulars all right. They, uh, we had one chap that's been coming in for a couple of years and, and he reckons that um, if, if he didn't know who was making the coffee, he could, he could tell us which boy made the coffee. He's been coming in that regularly. Well, uh, we're sort of value-adding in, in a lot of respects, Simon. Hmm. That not only are they getting uh, paid work, but we're tra- training them as well. And we've just finished a, 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 um, an eight-week TAFE course where um, wherein they learn um, not only the theory and the of, of food preparation and, and uh, uh, preparing meals and specials and things, but uh, they go to TAFE and they, they do their their book work up there and their theory. Then they, they get into the cafe and they they do it you know on the on the job training. Mm. And you wouldn't believe how some of them have come ahead in leaps and bounds. So they're gaining skills as well as being employed. 
uh, as well as providing a service to the community. That's right. That's right, Simon. Yes, you know, we've got you know all sorts of jobs from just basic, you know, cleaning the windows and uh, and cleaning jobs, which have all got to be done. Mm. Um, so you know, we pride ourselves in a nice, clean, well air conditioned premises, and um, uh, and then the food preparation. Well, that's another thing, and that's all got to be organised. And uh, my co-manager Millie. Uh, you know, organises all that side of it. So, um, and they just, they, we're pretty lucky that we haven't got too many egos in the shop and everyone's always, you know, they work as a team and it, and it shows, shows to, the, to the customers and they're always commenting on how well everyone gets on and what a pleasure it is to, to come in in such a, a light-hearted atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, it certainly is. Oh, our, our toasted sandwiches seem to be really popular. Um, we've got a variety of toasted sandwiches and, you know, they're, they're the ones we sell the most. Yeah, but, you know, we've got hamburgers and steak sandwiches and, uh, and everything from, you know, Weight Watchers and salads and mm. uh, through to the hot meals as well. So we, there's not many people that we can't cater for. Oh, the, 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 the fact that I know when um, people, I don't know if people come there and a mud lady came there and they said, now, you know, what, what sort of skills have you got? She said... Well, I haven't got many skills, but I know how to do the washing up. So, and now she's, you know, she supervises now. She's gone yeah. from the washing up to the cooking and, the, yeah. and worked her way up and, and worked her way up in confidence too. And that's the most important thing with a lot of, a lot of people um, is confidence. And once they realise they can do the job and do it well, then they just surpass themselves. Yep. There's always, yes, there's always something happening. We've had our big, our, our cup of tea day and our loud t-shirt day and uh, you know all the different uh, fundraising activities that go on through the year now we we heavily involve the staff in all of those and uh, you know make make sure there's um, something new uh, to look forward to and to raise money for yep it's uh, yeah and it's a reflection on our community out here well probably everybody can find the police station it's fairly well um, earmarked around town with the signs and that and we're directly opposite the police station. And thanks to Don Lilliman and the great crew at Cafe 64 at Walgett for Nova Employment. Another Nova Employment success story. Well, that's the show for this fortnight, the Nova Employment fortnight. Thanks to Nova Employment, I'm Simon Smith. Bye for now.